Hey, what is up everybody? I'm here in Walmart because today we are gonna to try to find the brand new Pokemon Mystery Power Boxes. And I gotta show you something before we start looking. Check this out. I found a Pokemon trash bin and you know I'm gonna get it. So whenever I see something Pokemon, I gotta buy it. So let's head up to the card section, see if we can't find those Mystery Power Boxes. Let's do it. All right, we are here in the card section. Let's see if we can't find any of those Mystery Power Boxes anywhere. Uh-oh, do they happen to have them? They are stocked, look at this. This is absolutely crazy. This is one of the most stocked Walmarts I have seen in a long time. We got some Pokemon toys up there. We got some of the mystery cubes. We got some of the other um, power boxes right there and right down there. There they are. They're hiding back there right behind these peanut butter bars. We have the brand new Pokemon Mystery Power Boxes. We have a chance, ooh, and it's the Holiday Edition. That's pretty cool. We have a chance at a vintage booster pack inside. I believe these are gonna retail for about $25, but you know, we can't just get one. So let's go ahead and grab another one back there, and we'll leave that last one for some other lucky person to come along and get it. Let's go ahead, buy these, head home, and then open them up. Wow, got some cool packs inside, Ultra Prism. All right, Breaking Family, we are back here at home and we got two of the brand new Pokemon mystery power boxes that are currently at Walmart. You can see them right here and the one thing that I thought was pretty cool about it is it did say limited holiday edition. I think this is the first time they have ever done a holiday edition before but you can see right here on the very front it's very eye-catching because it does have a base set two booster pack with Raichu right on the front and it does say vintage pack seated one in every 10. So one out of every 10 mystery power boxes should have a vintage Pokemon booster pack. But you can see right there, there is some Dragon Vault. There is some uh, Crystal Guardians, Platinum right back there. And then on the back, we do have Ultra Prism, Shining Legends, Burning Shadows, Generations, and Guardians rising right there. And you get a nice little Alolan Raichu. Well, it might not be an Alolan Raichu, but on the box artwork, there is an Alolan Raichu, but I wanna go ahead and jump into this. We get five booster packs plus one coin per box. So we're gonna go ahead and open up both of these mystery power boxes. All right, here we go. Time to open this up. Now this is packaged by a third party company, but the booster packs inside of it are legit Pokemon uh, products. So let's see what we got. Let's see if maybe we'll be lucky enough to get one of those vintage Pokemon booster packs. All right, what do we got here? Oh, there is something, something huge inside of here. All right, all right, let's go through this one by one and see what we got. We have a Sun and Moon base set booster pack. We have an Ultra Prism Sun and Moon. My favorite Sun and Moon set is Ultra Prism, so I'm definitely excited about that. Shining Legends, chance to pull that secret rare Mewtwo. So that is three booster packs, Evolutions, and we have a Fates Collide as our last booster pack. Our coin is going to go to a Pikachu, actually. Very nice. And then we have one more. Oh, nice! That is a great addition to the Mystery Power Boxes. Does it even say that it's supposed to come with one of those? Limited holiday edition, five booster packs, plus one coin per box. So this is actually a nice surprise. Wow, I'm I'm actually surprised. Kudos, my hat is off to um uh, to uh, MJ Holding Company with these uh, with these mystery power boxes. This is actually really good, and I haven't even opened up the booster packs yet. Nice, now nice. these were originally um, distributed at Toys R Us here in um uh, here in my part of the woods. Wow, that is so cool. Nice holiday Pikachu. Okay, let's go ahead and open up these booster packs. Sorry, I was uh, I was mesmerized by the fact that we pulled a Pokemon ornament. Oh, and, and I did, I did buy the trash can. I wasn't lying, I bought the trash can and I thought what would be cool is I'm gonna set this behind me. I'm gonna set it behind me right here. And Whenever I show you the code cards, I'm gonna throw them behind me and then at the very end of this video, we will see, blah, 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 at the very end of this video, we will see how many code cards landed inside of that trash bin. All right, and of course those code cards are for you. They're for you to claim, all of the breaking family. 
All right, let's see what we got. See if we can't pull ourselves an ultra rare out of this mystery power box. Burmy, Larvitar, Bronzor, Mincino, Snubble. I think Snubble had too much to eat, and now it's resting under the table. Double colorless energy, Sincino, De Evolution Spray. Uh, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have an Altaria. EX, I was getting ready to, uh, I was getting ready to say this Pokemon's name, and then I started pulling it back, and then I got too distracted by the ultra rare Altaria EX. So, one booster pack in, and we've already pulled one ultra rare. Nice, Altaria EX soaring through the sky. Very cool. Nice. So we already got one booster pack. There's the code card right there for the Pokemon TCG online. I never keep any of the code cards. I always give them to you because you deserve them. All right, here we go. Now, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't think that one. That one landed right over here. Let's do this again. Now, I don't know if it's going to land in there or not. We're going to find out at the very end of the video and see how many landed inside of it. All right, now we're moving on to Evolutions. We have a chance to pull that Charizard. Some nice nostalgia with this set. Ghastly. And which, one of the cool things about the base set, I don't know if you remember back in the day, um, but in the base set there was Ghastly and Haunter, and Gengar didn't even come out until a later set. So we had a set with Ghastly and Haunter, and then it took a while for Gengar to actually come out. Seal, you don't see that happening too much anymore. Charmander, Double Colorless Energy, Machoke, Coughing. <coughs> oh, that is a nice reverse hollow fighting energy. Very cool. And then a far fetched. I am happy about that because far fetched is in my top, top five favorite Pokemon of all time. There we go. There's the code card for that one. Good luck. Hopefully, you pull an ultra rare in that. Moving on to Shining Legends next. Like I did say, we do have a chance to pull that secret rare Mewtwo from this set. All right, four, two. Let's see what we got here. We got a Totodile. Oh, give me those summer vibes. Can it please be summer yet? Please be summer, it is so cold right now. How cold is it in your, in your neck of the woods? Let me know down below, I would love to hear. Jinx, Shroomish, this is me right here running away from winter. Energy, Switch. We have a Carnivine Electrode. We have a Reverse fo re re Reverse Hollow <laughs> Manaphy and a Latios. And the cool thing about Shining Legends is you do get a Hollow inside of every single booster pack. So that is pretty cool. All right. I think I had a glitch in my brain. I couldn't I couldn't speak there for a minute. I was watching a little bit of uh, Wreck-It Ralph before, before this. So a lot of glitching. And I think that kind of went onto my brain a little bit. All right. Four and two, this is Ultra Prism, my favorite Sun and Moon Pokemon set. We have a Chimchar, Lickitung, we have a uh, Gibble, a Dupider, Energy, Shieldon, Looker, just looking around, don't mind me, Luxio, Reverse Hollow, Alolan Sand Slash, which is a rare, so we're getting two rares inside of this booster pack, and then a Raquinid and Bugs, you know, we don't... We don't necessarily like bugs in our household. All right, code card back there. The last booster pack from this mystery power box, and then we got one more to open up. All right, and like I said, these do retail for about $24, $25 US, depending uh, wherever you are located. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a Surskit, a Garowlith, Crab Brawler, Marini, Rag and Roller, Energy, Nest Ball, Dartrix, we have an Alolan Persian, a Reverse Hollow Cosmog, and a Hollow Kangaskhan. Very cool. So we actually didn't do too bad from that mystery power box. Uh, we got two Hollows right there, and we did get an Ultra Rare, so not bad at all. Here is the code card for that last booster pack. And let's see. I don't know where it's going to land, so I have no clue. All right, let's go ahead and get into our next mystery power box. Now, the booster packs on the outside does not necessarily mean what it's going to be on the inside. So as you saw that last one, we got Fates Collide, and Fates Collide isn't even on the box. So just because it's on the box does not necessarily mean you are going to get it inside of this new mystery power box. Ah, there we go. 
And if you haven't seen, we do have a two-part Pokemon series here on the channel that was uploaded this past weekend where I go and visit the actual Pokemon Pikachu car from around 2001, 2002. It was used in all sorts of Nintendo events. It was used in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I take you to see it in a two-part series and I do offer to buy the car from the owner. So you're gonna have to check it out. It is so awesome. There'll be links at the end of this video. It is so cool. So uh, definitely check it out. It definitely was, uh, it's a nice project I had been working on for a long time. I think you'll like it. Uh, we have a Sun and Moon base set. Next up, we do have a Evolutions. Hopefully we'll get another Christmas ornament. I think we will. Uh, here is our coin, which is a Pikachu, the same one we got in the last booster box, or the last uh, mystery box. Fates collide, so it is starting to look about the same. Shining Legends and an Ultra Prism. And then we got, oh, nice, nothing else in the box. We do have a different ornament. There's the two ornaments I got right there. Which one do you like better? I think, whew, I think I'm going to go with the present. I kind of like the present one. Yeah, I think I like that one better. Let me know in the comment section down below which of those two ornaments you like the best. This one I'm going to go ahead and just do a little mystery mix-up right here. And of course we do have hidden Pokemon cards this Friday. So make sure you stay tuned. Go ahead and turn on that notification bell. Hit the subscribe button while you're at it if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this channel if this is your first time here. All right, let's see what we got. That was what? Sun and Moon, so we got to do four. All right, we have a Marini, Rock and Roller, Alolan Rattata, Rattata, Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Golbat, looking all fierce, Dragonair, Reverse Hello, Nest Ball, and okay, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I, I wouldn't have liked maybe a secret rare, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. There's the code card right there. Let's see if we can make it. I don't think that one made it because I saw it fall right there. Fates Collide is the next one. We do have a chance of that. These are just like falling apart. Uh, I, we do have a chance at that uh, Alakazam EX from this set. I honestly am going to say I think these might be my favorite uh, mystery power boxes. I think these might be the best mystery... I'm not saying I pulled the best mystery power boxes, but I think these might be overall the best mystery power boxes released so far. And I've only opened up literally like one and a half so far. So I I, I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb and, uh, and, and say that. Burmy, Snubble, Bronzor, Mincino, Dugong, Wigglytuff. Whenever I say Dugong... I get this image of just a gong in my head and just, just hitting it. Uh, Mega Catcher, a Reverse Hello, Snubber, and a Mothum is the rare. Here's the code card for the Pokemon Online game. If you do claim any of those, let me know down below what you ended up pulling in your online booster pack. We have Evolutions next. See what kind of goodness lies inside of this Pokemon pack. All right, Volpix. Energy, Magikarp, still to this day, my favorite Magikarp artwork. Weedle, do you think, do you think that's a Caterpie on there? I don't know. I know it's not the same color as a Caterpie, or it could be a Weedle. Electabuzz, a Nidorino, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Porygon. Oh, nice. Reverse Solo, Grass Energy, and a Doug Trio. What's better than a duo, but a trio. And there is the code card there. Let's see if that made it in there. Hopefully we at least get one. Ultra Prism is next. We have a chance at the gold Pokemon card or a full art Cynthia. I think I'd probably rather pull the full art Cynthia. I don't know about you. Let me know your favorite card from uh, Ultra Prism. We got ourselves a Shinx. Uh, a Hippo. A Snover, which is now in Pokemon Go. Cherubi. Energy, a lowland Doug Trio with those luscious locks of hair. Ancient Crystal, Cherum, could you imagine me with those luscious locks of hair? I would look gorgeous, don't you think? Probably not. A skateboard and a Tapu Lele, make you want to say hey, hey. Tapu Lele, thanks for joining the party. All right, there's the code card for that one. We have one booster pack left. Give this video a thumbs up if you had fun. Maybe... 
It'll give me good luck on this last booster pack. Maybe giving a thumbs up will give you good luck. I know that's kind of, kind of dumb to say, but you know what I always say, any chance at getting some good luck, I'll take any, any chance of having some extra good luck when it comes to opening up Pokemon cards. All right. What do we got here? I, I just totally forgot how many to do. Three? I think it's three. All right. Well, we're going to... I Yeah. I think I just had a brain fart. Ekans, Golurt, Voltorb, Croconaw, Scraggy. Oh, yeah. I totally did. Totally did. So, Reverse Hello Totodile, Damage Remover, Ultra Ball, Venusaur, Verizian is the rare, and then there is the energy. So, that is our last one. I would say probably our best pull out of this was the Altaria EX, but I would definitely love to know your thoughts down below. What was your favorite pull out of all these booster packs, and what do you think of these mystery power boxes? Are they the best ones yet? There's the code card! All right, and our count for the Pokemon Trash Bin for code cards is going to be... Zero. Well, maybe in tomorrow's video, we might be able to land a couple in there. All right, girls and guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join me for some Pokemon fun and for being part of the Breaking family. You know I love every single one of you amazingly unique people all around this world, and I will see all of you, all of you awesome people, in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.